Hello, welcome to that pedal show. Dan here. Mick here. Well, Mick, <laughs> it had to happen. I know. We've got Mick, as you many of you know, has this a wonderful clon. So we thought, let's grab a bunch of the clons. Yeah, in many ways, it's an anniversary for Daniel and I because uh, as we as we stare gazingly, gazingly into each other. Does life. <laughs> um, Last year we made a we made a video <laughs> we made a video in the Tones for Tash series for guitarist uh, which compared that silver clon with that silver archer uh, because as we know um, Jay Rocket brought out the archer which is essentially a clon clone so we compared the two since then Jay Rocket have come out with the archer icon which mm. is supposed to be more like the gold clon which you can also see that we have here thanks mm -hmm. very much to Paul Waller of Westside Music in Denmark Street in London for lending uh, us this thanks Paul um, and actually as a plug for them if you want to go and try Martin guitar that is the place to do it in the UK they have got a staggering selection of Martin guitars anyway um, they have any old ones uh, it's mostly new stuff okay. they do get vintage ones every now and again but right. it's like you know you can play everything from custom shop to Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. They've got everything in there. So oh. anyway, thanks very much, Paul, for this uh, this lend and providing the uh, armed guard security escort <laughs> for us as well. Well, I was, uh, funnily enough, I was on Paddington Station having uh, having some food, waiting for my Try, train. Sorry, I'm trying not to look in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah anyway, uh, trying to wait to come home, and there I am eating my burrito, taking a picture of this clon on the uh, on the desk there, and this guy next to me is like looking at me, going. What? So if you only knew what this was, mate. Anyway, so there we are, about 50 million quiz worth of clons, two archers, and also new out this year is the Tumnus. Is that the, how do you say Tumnus it? from Wampler. Tumnus from Wampler. Mm -hmm. um, and the good old common or garden, extremely affordable, affordable EHX soul food. Yes. And I also... Uh, oh yeah, and one more. Yeah, so we've got this other one. Now this is um, a builder who builds... Uh, clones, clon clones from if you go to theclonePedal.com. Yeah. Um, now there's a number of these guys out there, but um, I've been sent this one and I really dig it. It's really cool. I mean, the meticulous attention to detail, mm. you know, because these, uh, the original clones are so sought after now, they're just worth just crazy money. So, you know, Builders have started saying, "Okay, yeah, we can." And do this. at this point, everyone's going to go, "Why haven't you d included the blah clone or the blah clone or the blah clone?" And there's just there's so many. Yeah. And you, uh, there's also the uh, Tom Clements, also the uh, build your own kits. Tom had an interesting mm -hmm. experience with the build your own kit, which we discussed at great length. Um, so yeah, we can't do all of them, but really, we were only going to just do the four, you know, the two clones and the two archers. But we thought, no, 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 let's chuck the others in just mm. for for. So without further ado, Daniel. So Daniel is playing his rather new uh, oh, Mike. Okay. <laughs> Mick Hooper Crowster 2, which is... I've been bad. Um, so yes, the Crowster 2, just a glorious rock machine. Um, I've been playing old guitars and old style guitars, and, and I try new guitars out every now and then, and they always feel... New. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But anyway, I played this, and it's everything that I love in a guitar. It's and like a new old guitar. It is. It's yeah. a, it, it exactly is. Big neck. Big, chunky Lightweight neck. Lightweight body. So this is a Spanish cedar body, and it is an astonishing sounding thing. <laughs> Transient's coming off that 212 Marshall cap. Smacking you oh, in the ear. Smacking me in the face. Interestingly, that's the soul food, isn't it? No, that's the tumnus. Oh, is it? Okay, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the wrong... Uh... So we're going, from, we're going from left to right Yeah. Uh, to make it less confusing. So nothing's in... Uh, the tune is in loop 10, yeah? The uh, tune is in loop 10. Okay, fine. Right, so. so that's the tumnus. Okay, great. That so, sounded nice. Loads of bottom end. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah, Wonderful. Yeah. Soul food. 
you know. <laughs> Silver Archer. Icon. Silver Klon. Gold Klon. And the Rock Your Repair Damp clone. Wow, 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 wow. So, Not a bad sounding pedal. We should also say Marshall JTM45, not in its original box. Two Rock Studio Pro 35, both, oh. both the amps are on, They're, so the pedals are hitting both amps. But neither amp is overdriving the front end. The amps are set pretty clean-ish. Yeah. So, amps for themselves. <laughs> Any of them. <laughs> well, so we've just finished recording the EVH fifty one fifty. Uh, ears are still ringing. Video with uh, where we did Angry Charlie. You can you can. The difference in that heavy gain, slightly mid scoopy, compressed, and this is just chalk and cheese, isn't it? This is absolutely punch through the mix, mid rich. Completely different set of transients and, and hearing the guitars. Yeah. And. Yeah, it's a, it's a different world, isn't it? Right, come on then, let's start. Um, so all, at the moment, all of our clons and clon alikes mm -hmm. are set with low gain, um, EQ sort of in the middle, the treble control, and the output to sort of fair to reasonable, in, in which point it's doing a kind of a boosty job. It's a mid boost yeah, yeah, with, yeah. A, with a lovely, rich, Top end. So let's start there then. I'm going to play the strap because that seems to work. Um, and Dan's going to switch between the Silver Clon and the Silver Archer. Should we do that? Let's do that. Okay. Yep. <laughs> much what we can is it what we concluded last year the cl the, the the clon is a bit throatier yes it's got a bit more mids in yeah. it yeah just the... do the same with your guitar a sec yep so Let's move on to the gold and the the gold archer and the oh, sorry the archer icon. Let me get it right. Mm -hmm. The archer icon and the gold, the gold clon.
Same thing again, a bit more... Yeah, I really wouldn't have much trouble telling those apart, to be honest. No, nor me. The, the, the clone seems to have a bit more guts in the mid. Mm. Just try it with yours again. different the, the, well yeah lest, lest we forget that presumably all clones were slightly different yes this is true um, now, let's have a listen to the okay the gold the difference between the gold and the silver clone yeah <laughs> yeah they're quite different as well yeah and very interesting so we go between the clone the, the so gold first and then silver yeah so they are different. Do you say the gold one was first? Yes. Gold one's got a bit more guts, doesn't it? It does. It, it, it's compressing a bit, almost yeah. a bit angrier. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, there are going to be variances in how we've set these um, controls slightly, but. Let me see if I can get the gold archer to match the gold clone. Okay. <laughs> it's old now. Pretty close, but there's still there's a there's a there is a definite difference there. But there's a definite difference between the silver and the, the gold as well. Mm. So it could just be the difference between. I think what we're talking about here is the difference between individual pedals, rather than J Rocket being miles off. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, it, it's definitely in the in the clone area. But this is the thing: if all the clones sound a bit different, then yeah, you know, they they must be modelling it after a specific clone. Mm. You know, well, which is what they did with the with the um, the silver one was modelled after Chris Van Tassel's own silver clone. Ah, so I suspect that's what they've done again. They probably used somebody's gold one and and, and okay. done it off that. Right. Let's try the gold centaur and the tumnus, shall we? Yes, let's do that. All right. I'll just let me stick with what I was playing and then we'll yeah, yeah. then we'll then perhaps we can put the gain up and try some different guitars maybe. Yep. So. <laughs> Thank you. 
not much in it, is no, there? No, there's not. The, I think the Thanos has perhaps a hair more bottom end, which is not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, they, they feel very similar. They fit. What's it? They feel very similar under the fingers as well, mm. which, which is the mm. bit I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Great. Fair play, that Tumnus is, is really close. I would say closer than the Gold Archer. Well, funnily enough, it's also quieter. Listen to this. That's the Tumnus. This is the Gold Centaur. <laughs> Tumnus. Gold Archer. Tumnus is killer. Now okay. just A, B, the Tumnus and the Soul Food. Mm -hmm. The Soul Food and the Gold Clon. That was the Soul Food and the Gold Archer, was it? That was the Soul Food and the Gold Archer. Gold Archer, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. The Soul Food's great. It, it's different in the mid-range, though. It's harder sounding, mm. I think. Mm. Yeah, you know, it costs 50 quid. Yeah. But I'm very impressed with the Tumnus. But I, I must say, the we go from the Gold Climb. <laughs> Closer to the silver one, actually, than the gold. <laughs> Why don't, let's move along okay. and um, push the gain up. Right. I okay. mean, it's not really what you would, not what a lot of people would do with no. a horn, but let's 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 get into slightly richer game okay. territory. Yep. Let's just um, let's arbitrarily go to there. Okay. So we've kind of gone to one one o'clock. Yeah. Well, lots of people speaking. would have, you know, yeah. an overdrive pedal set. So let's see what we're getting. Oh, uh, Dan's going to play. I'm just going to keep my eye on the audio meters to make sure we're not killing anything. Go left to right yep. around the corner. Thank you. 
All pretty good sounding. They all sound great. All pretty good sounding. It does have loads of bottom end. So you'd need an amp that could take lots of bottom end, which mm. both of these seem to be doing pretty well. Mm. I've got one more guitar I want to play, Dan. Okay. We, see, we, we seem to be turning into Boutique Guitar Corner. Boutique Guitar Corner! <laughs> and <laughs> we should do that. Anyway, we rarely use a 335 style guitar or a, you know, like a center block style guitar. Mm on the pedal show, and I think these sounds work for this. So this, I was fizzing on Facebook about this earlier this week. This is a Collins Soco. Thumbless. <laughs> something very nice indeed. They do. worth saying that um, you know as a guitar sound a clon style pedal into a vintage type valve amp is a pretty visceral experience isn't it it is it can be quite hard work under the fingers because mm. there's nowhere to hide there is nowhere to hide there's not much compression going on no so let's explain that because a lot of people have mentioned in tone talk it's a revealing sound there's nowhere to hide so what does that mean mm. Um, when you, when you, when we did the whole shred tastic thing, all oh, right, right, and there's this all this bottom end and this top end, this is a bit scoopy, and the, but the gain is is sort of compressed. You can get away with murder. Well, right, you can if you can play that stuff. But with this, because the mid range is so pronounced and because the attack is so quick, mm. every 
pick scrape, every edge of the pick ends up right at the front, yeah, yeah. you know, um, and because those frequencies, the frequencies that these pedals push, they cut through a band mix. Mm. They are in the frequencies that the guitar is supposed to be in. Yep. Which does and, explain why a lot of people use them how they use them. Yes. Yeah. So for that soulful yeah. blues rock type sound, um, where you can, you know, there's such a harmonically rich sound, so you can you grab. <laughs> So you don't need to play a lot, and it'll just yeah, ah. not, not huge amounts of gain going on no, there, but straight not at all. straight into feedback. In fact, uh, my friend Rob Jackson on Facebook, friend from Cambridge, who is a killer guitar, I mean crazy killer guitar player, he said this week, if you find your audience mm. switching off, play less, not more. Ah, I like that. Right. That's, Put this down there. Those are these sounds, aren't they? <laughs> they are. Those are the sounds that you can do that with. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Just um, c can I go? Let's pick the pick any pedal you like, and let's just do a get a volume down thing, and just see what okay, happens. Okay, I'm gonna go the tumnus. I'm, I'm, you like I'm, the tumnus? I'm really enjoying the tumnus. Yeah, I, yeah. The thing that has always been difficult for me with the clons is because I play a very mid heavy mm. amplifiers anyway. Yep. So it's always been so much of a punch in the face, but I like that little bit of extra bottom end yep. that the clon's got, uh, that, that, that the tumnus has got. Yep. And also, I can see that just... Are there any dip switches in it or anything, do you know? Nope, it's a straight okay. clon clone. So it's not like you could tame the bottom end if you wanted or anything like that? Nope. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I like it, and I can see why you like it. Mm. For me, coming from like Fender type amp background, with Fender guitars. More bottom end that you can yeah. pack a stick at. The yeah. Tube Scream, Tube Screamer lineage, that kick in the mid thing from mm -hmm. the Clon really, really does work for me. I tend to use it after another overdrive pedal, but I um, have to say, the Tumnus is, I mean, they're all great. You wouldn't you wouldn't be sorry if you had any of those pedals. No, not at all. Let alone the, the high-end Clons. I, I don't know. My brain is telling me that there's something there in the real clons, but well, you, you, you would never know. You would literally never know, would you, no. at a gig? So let's just try the uh, final thing. Um, let's go uh, Tumnus and Gold Archer, seeing as they're the two newest pedals. Yep. Um, what, what are they like for, for cleaning up? Okay. So, Tumnus. <laughs> I'll just try that with these two as well. sound this guitar mm. kind of mm. nice just try the strap yep. last thing 
So Tumnus. Tumnus. Just do me a favour and put the gold clon on. losing quite a lot of high end when I roll the volume back on the guitar. Mm -hmm. So I thought that might be the Tumnus not reacting as well to rolling the volume down, but actually the, the gold clon goes off, goes pretty dark as well, doesn't mm. it? Mm. Interesting. Let me just... Yeah, it does. Let's compare the bridge pickups of these guitars then. Mm, shall we? Yeah. Tumnus? <laughs> sounding guitar it's amazing even with low powered bridge pickups yeah um, you still really hear the differences between the instruments with this sort of a mm. setup you know whereas you didn't really hear when we did that the heavy thing no no, no. you didn't you know the, the differences were there but um, you know you really hear the mid-range of, of that coming through but the, the, the yeah. tightness of this fantastic. Yeah, if, you, if you're the kind of person that, that plays with in those low to medium well, low gain settings, mm. and you've got nice guitars, and you really want to hear them. Uh, a Klon style overdrive booster is a really good choice, and I think what we've proved today is that yes, the original Klons we've proved yes are fab pedals, and we've used them enough in demos mm. for people to go back and listen. They do. There's no doubt they sound fantastic, but for a fraction of the price, mm. you can get very, very, very close indeed. Mm if not even maybe slightly more to your taste mm -hmm. from some of these others that we've got here. Yeah. No, it is wonderful. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. The uh, the Clon Extravaganza. Sorry, can't look into know, your eyes. No, no, look. no. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, thank you all for your comments. We really appreciate them. Um, and for sharing the videos. It's really been great. As actually, one thing to add. In the new year, Dan and I are going to have a new specific That Pedal Show YouTube channel. So we're, yeah. going to, we're going to get off the gig rig and we're going to start a new thing, which is going to be, it just means we need you all to go there and like that as well so that we can carry on. But yeah, we're going to have a completely separate thing with some other separate things happening, which is quite exciting. Yeah, it'd be very cool. So thank you so much, guys. Keep those comments coming and we will see you next week. Cheers, guys. Bye.